public transport is shaping up to be a major battleground in the race to rule Brisbane City Council. Both major parties are proposing new forms of transportation in an effort to cut congestion in the heart of the city. How to solve a problem like Brisbane's bus system. Inner city stations are at or nearing capacity and the population's rising. If we do nothing, that the delays in public transport in this city are just going to grow and grow and grow. The LNP is proposing a rubber-wheeled metro. It would use a mixture of Brisbane's existing busways as well as new underground sections on the north and south of the river. Cars would no longer be allowed on Victoria Bridge. This will remove about 190 of the 230 buses per hour that currently clog the bridge. Council would foot the majority of the $1.5 billion bill. $600 million will be borrowed. It has to be. But I just put to you, what is the alternative for this city? $1.5 billion for essentially fancy buses. That's a lot of coin. Labor's still working on its solution, light rail. For now, the proposal's light on detail. I look forward uh, in the next month giving you all the details about uh, the route and uh, what it's going to cost. Public transport expert Matthew Burke warns light rail could mean pain for drivers. The busway system tries to avoid some of those problems, but it's expensive and neither option is cheap. The Greens say their idea of taking cars off Victoria Bridge is cheaper and easier. By doing that in simple bus network reform, you can double the capacity you know, by the end of the year. Whichever party's proposal gets the go-ahead at next month's election, Council will have to go cap in hand to the state and federal governments in order to fund its plan. The state's still trying to get money for its own public transport project, Cross River Rail. It is a vital piece of infrastructure and it is one that I have constantly mentioned to the Prime Minister um, about the need for it and I will continue to do so. Wheels of change for Brisbane's public transport slowly in motion. Nick Wiggins, ABC News, Brisbane.